Hello, here at Cisco Kids, we would like to welcome you to today's CCNA study topic where we'll be covering the process on how to upgrade to iOS on a Cisco router. Now, this is something that you're definitely going to come across within your time as a Cisco administrator. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the syntax we have here. All right. This is something that needs to be done in privileged mode. So the first thing you want to do is type in enable to get into privileged mode. Once we're there, the command is quite simple. It's copy TFTP server, or excuse me, copy TFTP flash. So basically what you're going to be doing, you're telling it you're copying from your TFTP server over to the flash on the router. So let's bounce over to our hyperterminal session. And we have our session here. Now, there's going to be some setup you're going to need to do on both the router and your network. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our privilege mode. We're going to show our configuration here. And for this demonstration, I actually have two partitions on my flash. So, you can see that we have the partition flash 2 and it's 8 and 8 um, megabyte partitions but notice here we have Ethernet 0 and I have an IP address of 192, 168.1.2 on it now we need our router which we're upgrading and we also need the TFTP server so the router needs to be configured with an IP address so it can configure via or so it can communicate via IP to our TFTP server. So now you'll notice the screen that just popped up. We have our Cisco Kids TFTP service console, and this is installed on our server. And the IP address for this is 192.168.1.99. And you'll notice below that the local network endpoint. We have our server storage folder. That's where we store let's say configuration files and also in this case our iOS so we have the iOS stored in the Cisco kits TFTP server server storage folder on the C drive of the TFTP server so let's bounce back to our hyperterminal session and what we're going to do is copy TFTP flash and 9 out of 10 times you're probably just going to use the command as is but I want to specify the second partition and we are going to specify the 2500.bin iOS file now I'm going to just make sure that we have file saved in the appropriate location which I was able to do so we have it saved in the proper location and one thing I just want to point out I specified the file name as 2500.bin usually the file names are a lot longer um, and the syntax of how they're created specifies if it's say a standard IP um, iOS file, if it's say advanced IP, enterprise, things along those lines or feature sets. But just to simplify this example, I renamed it to 2500.bin to make things a little bit easier. Now, the address or name of the remote host, what that is, that is the address of the TFTP server, which we'll be grabbing this from. So that's 192.168.1.99. Source file name, as I mentioned before, 2500.bin. Destination file name is 2500.bin, so we can take the default there. Just waiting a second for this to process. You notice the uh, error just came up that timed out. I bet you I forgot to start the TFTP server. Yes. So, a little bit.
little bit of troubleshooting here. Let's start the TFTP server by clicking the start server start button. Notice it's loaded up the settings. We'll bounce right back here to our hyperterminal session and copy TFTP flash. Take the default for the host because it's remembered it. Um, file names. And now it's going to prompt us to are we sure we want to erase uh, the flash before copying? Th there's nothing on it, so I could say no. And as you see, the exclamation points, as in our previous video with. Uh, ping and trace route that signifies a successful um, reception of a packet. So this is going to take a few seconds. So I'm going to pause the video while this is transpiring. Okay, we're back. And since that was an 8 megabyte file, you see all the exclamation points for the successful data transfers. And it took 233 seconds. So it took uh, almost 4 minutes. Well, that's, that's not too bad. Now, one thing we'd like to do is I'd like to cover if we need to back up a version of iOS to a TFTP server. How, how do we do that? Well, the command is really the same, just reversed. So, let me show you an example. What you would do is copy, instead of from the TFTP server to the flash, it's going to be from flash, and we're going to pull the file from partition 2, 2500.bin, and we're going to copy it to the TFTP server. Now, before we do that, I'm going to bring up this server storage directory, which if you remember, that's the directory that's configured on our TFTP server. See, See colon backslash Cisco kits TFTP server server storage. And here's the file that we copied over. What I'm going to do is delete this. So we want to send that to the recycle bin. So this way I could prove to you that this does actually work. Um, so now what we'll do, we'll minimize that. Uh, we still have our server start as um, TFTP server service started and it's running. And what we want to do, we'll go back here. Address or name of the remote host, which is a TFTP server 192.168.1.99 in our example. Destination file name 2500.bin. And boom, you can see it's starting to copy on over. What I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to pause the video, wait for it to finish, and then we'll come back to see the results. Okay, we're back. And as you can see, that copied over in 124 seconds, so just over two minutes. And primarily that's because of how it writes to a hard drive compared to how it's burnt to the flash. So a little bit more quickly going back to the TFTP server. Well, I hope you found this video to be of use and that helps you prepare for your Cisco CCNA certification. We're sure you'll quickly find that hands-on real-world experience is the best way to cement the CCNA concepts and it'll help you pass your CCNA exam. For more information on how you can obtain affordable CCNA or CCMP study kits as well as to find more of these valuable CCNA study topics, please visit us at www.ciscokits.com. Study topics can be found under the CCMNA menu, CCNA Study Topics.